Hey guys, Jacob Scott, Lawrence product expert. What we're gonna do today out here is show you the simplest and most basic way to network two units together on your boat. Okay guys, a lot of you have two units on your boat, one at the bow, one at the console. We're gonna show you here, I got these two units, they're set up close together so it makes it really easy. The easiest way to network these two units together is with an ethernet cable. I only have to use a short one because they're really close. Okay, so if you look at the back of these units, you can see each unit has two of the yellow ethernet ports. So to network these units together, all I have to do is plug the cable in, twist it and lock it down, take it over to my next unit, plug it in, lock it down. Now that I have the ethernet connecting these two units, they're gonna be able to share waypoints, mapping cards, and other data right across the network. Okay guys, as you saw, we connected these two units with an ethernet cable. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this Navionics card, I'm gonna put it in this unit only, put it in. As you can see, it says, do you wish to change the chart data? I'm gonna say yes. As you can see, that same question popped up on my other unit. I'm gonna tell this one yes also. Now, as you can see, we have both of the charts up. We're only using one charting card. Now, the best part about that is, is instead of needing two $200 Navionics cards, I can share one $200 Navionics cards between all of the units on my boat. So as you can see on the unit on the left, we have over 100 waypoints on that unit and we have zero on the right. I'm gonna go ahead and plug the ethernet cable in, lock it into place. It'll take it just a moment for data to transfer between the two units. So now one thing you can do, as you can see, they're connected. I'm gonna go ahead and just back out of this to my home screen. I'm gonna go to my waypoints. And as you can see, they're all there on both units. <laughs> 